hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a super effective hair growth oil this oil will grow your hair extremely fast using cloves and moringa as part of some of the ingredients in today's video if you're new to my channel hi welcome in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a bowl. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my chosen oil. So the first oil I'm going to be using for today's hair growth oil is olive oil. So olive oil is one of my favorite oil to use. Olive oil is a very lightweight oil. It's easy to penetrate into the hair shaft. Olive oil helps with split end. It helps to soften your hair. It helps your hair to grow stronger. It strengthens your hair. It moisturizes your hair like never before and it makes your hair longer as well. I'm going to go ahead and add half cup of olive oil into the bowl. You can use any oil of your choice. Use whatever oil that works best for your hair type. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is coffee. So coffee is really amazing for our hair. The caffeine in coffee helps to stimulate hair growth. It stops hair loss. According to research, caffeine in coffee can help to stimulate hair growth. It helps to strengthen your hair and it prevents hair breakage and hair loss. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of coffee. You can use any coffee of your choice as long as it contains high level of caffeine. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is Moringa powder. I'm starting to love Moringa, okay? And it has a great benefit for our natural hair. One of the most important benefits of Moringa is it helps to boost hair growth. Moringa contains vitamin A, vitamin B, and omega-3 fatty acid. All those nutrients nourish the hair and promote hair growth. Vitamin A plays a major role in development of healthy cells and healthy hair growth. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of Moringa powder. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is cloves. So I went ahead and blend my cloves off camera to save time. So this is how it looks like. You can also use cloves powder as well. Cloves can be used to protect your scalp from dandruffs, which are the major cause of weak and thinning hair. I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cloves. Now I just went ahead and mixed all the ingredients together. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a pot. Then I'm going to add water. Then I'm going to transfer the pot to the cooker. I'm going to go ahead and place my bowl into the boiling water. This method is called the double boiler method. I'm going to allow it to sit in the boiling water for about 30 minutes on the low heat. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So after 30 minutes, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and allow it to cool down before straining the oil out. After cooling down, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and strained it out. You can use this oil as an hot oil treatment. You can also use it on a daily basis to seal in moisture to your hair. You can use this oil twice a week, especially if you're experiencing hair breakage or if you have fine to thin hair. This oil is really powerful and very effective as well. With consistency, you will definitely see a massive result if you're consistent at applying it to your hair you will definitely see a difference within one to two weeks in your hair hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you 
while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you think so once i'm done straining this is how the oil looks like i'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of jojoba oil Jojoba oil can help to promote hair growth. It moisturizes dry hair. It's rich in vitamins and minerals that nourish your hair. It can also prevent hair loss and promote hair thickness. I'm also going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil helps to nourish the scalp. It has been shown that it helps to increase blood circulation to the scalp, which helps to increase hair growth. As well as this, vitamin E oil adds shine to your hair and boost hair growth. I'm going to go ahead and add a few drops of peppermint essential oil. So guys, this part is optional. If you don't want to add essential oil, it's fine. You don't have to add it. Just add whatever that works best for you. If you don't like essential oil, it's fine. Just skip this part. You don't have to add it. This oil is powerful enough without the essential oil. So it's fine if you don't want to add it. Once I'm done adding all my ingredients, I went ahead and mixed all the ingredients together. So guys, if you want to see a faster result, use this oil to lock in moisture to your hair. You can also use it as an hot oil treatment or you can also apply it to your scalp to improve blood flow to your scalp, which will help to promote hair growth. Now I'm going to go ahead and transfer the oil to my applicator bottle for easy use. So guys, let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried those three combinations before and how was the outcome. So as always, I'm going to show you guys how to apply this oil to your hair. So basically, I just went ahead and applied the oil to the edges and the scalp. Scalp massage is very important when it comes to hair growth. It's very important to massage your scalp as this helps to promote hair growth. So if you're experiencing hair breakage on your edges or if your edges are pulling out due to the protective style, you can also apply this oil to your edges, massage it in every night. You will definitely see a massive improvement on your edges. So I went ahead and massaged the oil to the scalp for about five minutes. I went ahead and applied my hair growth spray. This hair growth spray is clove, neem, and star anise hair growth spray. If you don't have this hair growth spray, you can check out my channel. I have different hair growth spray. You can just pick one or two hair growth spray you think your hair may like and make yourself one. Or you can also use water to saturate your hair. But I would suggest always apply hair growth spray instead of water. So as you guys know, I don't like working on a dry hair. If your hair is dry and you don't apply any form of liquid like water or hair growth spray, you're going to experience hair breakage. So always make sure to saturate your hair before um, applying any other product or before combing your hair or as I said, you're going to experience hair breakage and hair shedding. So once I'm done applying my hair growth spray, I lock in moisture by adding my DIY hair butter to the entire hair. As always, make sure to apply your moisturizer as well because only oil would not moisturize your hair. If you don't have this hair butter, as I said before, do check out my channel. I have different hair butter you can pick from. Just pick one or two that you think your hair may love. Or you can also use your favorite leave-in conditioner to seal in moisture to your hair. Once I'm done applying my DIY hair butter, I went ahead and applied my hair growth oil to the hair and the ends as well. You can use this hair growth oil if you have a protective style as well. As you guys can see, I'm using this hair growth oil on a protective style. I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the oil to the scalp as well. You can also use this oil as an overnight treatment as well. If you want to see a quicker result, be consistent. Consistency is the key. So as I said before, if you want to see a quicker result, you need to be consistent. Consistency is the key. 
consistency is what is going to give you the hair you're looking for if you're not consistent i'm sorry guys you're not going to see results you're not going to see thickness in your hair you're not going to retain length so do give this oil a go and give it time to work so between two weeks you're going to start to experience less breakage and less shedding the more you use the oil the more you start to see hair growth the more you start noticing your hair is getting thicker your hair is getting fuller and you will start to retain length so if you want to see a dramatic result be consistent consistency is the key so guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye